Okay, folks, this week on Most Cowbell, I'm going to bring you a topical song. My first time using a looper, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Stick around. Got a little bit of summertime for you. Summertime, hot sun, hot fun in the summertime. It's New York City. It's 100 degrees outside. I turned off the air to have a nice clean audio signal for you to listen to. I'm just using the mic and the camera. And uh, I got my little amp there, the little Vox thing. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, this tiny Vox amp that sounds bigger than it is, and it's 50 freaking watts, so it's plenty loud. Um, but uh, it's also nine pounds, which is uh, about uh, the, the weight that I feel like carrying after last week with all the construction I've been doing. <sighs> yeah, the construction. So, uh, as you know, I like to do things, I like to make things with my hands, and I, I use my hands a lot. And I play uh, guitar, and drums, and piano, and all that other stuff, but... The construction, I think it's not really good for my hands, okay? Especially my left hand. Uh, any of you guys out there that are older, like me, if you're in your 70s, and uh, I would just wonder how many, how many folks have this happen to them where their hands get numb, you know, their extremities, especially their hands, feel numb. And this has been happening to me way back, maybe almost 20 years ago, when I was playing with the brain surgeons, I noticed that uh, I had a different setup. I had my ride cymbal up high. So I was, I'd be playing some really fast song with, you know, lots of arm movement and my right hand would go to sleep while I was playing. So uh, I adapted and I started doing a different technique to play fast, which was the Muller method where you use your fingers. And, and now I do it with both hands because they both get numb and uh, all I have to do is start doing that and not this and, uh, and the numbness goes away and I can play a whole set and keep playing. So, uh, but with the construction, especially the hammering, you know, uh, the first few things that I built out there, the first few little buildings I built, they were... Um, I screwed everything in and it was expensive because I used deck screws, all weather, uh, really hard, very hard to strip them, you know, uh, so, but th when I made the studio, uh, I realized that it was really costing me a lot of money to use deck screws and they actually were not as uh, sturdy 
as using a big old nail, a big framing nail, like about that big. So those things can go through two two by fours. They can go through a two by four going, going the long way or the short way. They can go through two of the short way. So they're very uh, sturdy. It's the way to go if you're building a structure, you know. So I came back this week and I wanted to do a, a guitar playing thing for the vlog and do a little guitar uh, bit and uh, I couldn't really first think of what to play but also uh, my hands were really um, they were very sore you know especially my left hand and to fret some of these these notes like this So those are the those are the main chords in uh, summertime. The way that Gershwin wrote it, uh, it's basically a A minor, but it has um, it has a F sharp in it, and then the second chord is just an. E seventh with a B on the bottom. So it says And then then the third one is I can't play it on here, but it's supposed to have a C on the bottom for the second one that goes like that. Like that. So and the other chords are pretty pretty simple. I, I changed them around to make it, make it a little more rock-like, you know. Uh, there's been a zillion versions of this tune, Summertime, George Gershwin from Porgy and Bess. And of course, it's, it's kind of a sad song. It's in a minor key. It's supposed to be slow. I speeded it up a little bit because I was just getting frustrated with the looper. <laughs> I played it so nice and smooth and I forgot to press store and <laughs> I came back an hour later and it was gone. <laughs> so I live and learn, but I figuring I'm figuring out this is the Jam Man Solo XT. The Jam Man XT and that's pretty it seems pretty good. It can it, you can store like a hundred songs on there you know, whole songs. You can, with the optional foot switch, you can uh, switch banks to a different bank. I want to say one more thing about uh, uh, getting older and playing music and stuff, and that is that uh, even though I have this arthritis thing in my hands and, um, and uh, I'm a slower than I used to be, uh, my, my double pedal work is not quite as precise as it used to be so um, but I keep I plan to keep on playing I, I want to play as long as I possibly can my neighbor Stan who's 94 who's a famous drummer back in the 30s 40s played uh, on Broadway played Fiddler on the Roof West Side Story a lot of different I wanted to uh, interview him for a, a future vlog and of course, before we could do it, we had the quarantine. So I'm still, you know, I've seen him in the hallway. I, we keep our distance. I'm, I'm deathly afraid of, of uh, I, even though he's in relatively good health, I've already lost a bunch of uh, older friends to this, uh, to this virus. So it's serious. And I'm not going to take any chances on being responsible for uh, uh, Stanley Coors uh, demise. So his name is Stanley Coors, and he does. He says he doesn't play anymore. You know, uh, but uh, he's 94. If I make it to 94, I don't think I'll still be playing. But you never know. You know, uh, my goal is to keep playing for as long as I possibly can. And if I can't finger the notes, I'll just 
tune open tuning and I'll do the Richie Havens, you know. Joni Mitchell, you know. Thumb over the top. That's it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's the second to last episode, episode 19. Only one more to go. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week. I'll probably be, uh, who knows, I might go camping and I'll have another camping video or something. Some crazy stuff. Making a fire on the beach on Fire Island. So, anyway, hope to see you next week.